Okay, so hi guys. Um, in this video, what, we want, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do this problem. So uh, we want to do, um, we want to evaluate this integral using u substitution and also um, fundamental theorem of calculus. So in case anybody doesn't know what that is, hold on. I'm gonna write it down really quickly. Give me one second. Okay, guys. So this is the um, this is the fundamental theorem of calculus that we are gonna be using in this video. So <clears throat> first and foremost, we need to take care of this um, integral, and and I'm gonna rewrite it. So basically, the integral from zero to the square root of pi of x sine of x squared um, dx. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to go ahead and um, and get and do some u substitution. So I believe if I'm correct um, that we should go ahead and do so give me one second okay so in order to get rid of the um the x squared term or rather the x term we need to make u equal to we need to make u equal to x squared so u equals x squared and so then we need to find du du the derivative of u is 2x dx so now we can see that if we divide, if we uh, solve for dx, and we go ahead and divide by two x on both sides, we are going to end up getting dx is equal to du over two x. So then we are going to go ahead and do um, the integral from zero to square root of pi of, and it's going to be, um, it's actually going to be. Let's see here going to be x sine of u, so sine of u, and then dx is really du over 2x. So this kind of replaces this part here, and so now we can clearly see that the x cancels out, so we have everything in terms of u. So now we have the following, the integral from 0 to square root of pi, uh, of sine of u over 2 du. And since this is being multiplied by 1 half, since we have 0 to square root of pi of 1 half sine of u du, we can take that this 1 half outside. So we're going to have 1 half integral from 0 to square root of pi of sine of u du. Now, since the um, bounds of integration are in terms of x, we need to plug those in to u. So we know that we have to have everything in terms of u. So when we talk about um, when x equals 0, we know that u was equal to sine, I'm sorry, u was equal to x squared. So when x equals 0, u is going to be 0, so we know that it's going to be 1 half integral from 0, so that's the, that, that is what this part will be right here. And then the other part is the square root of pi, so um, basically the square root of pi, we know that when x equals to pi, u is going to be pi squared. I'm sorry, excuse me, when x is equal to square root of pi, u u is going to be um is going to be the square root of pi quantity squared which is just pi so we're going to have uh from 0 to pi and it's going to be of sine of u du so now we can easily integrate this um so we know that the integral of sine of u, the integral of sine of u, du, 
is negative cosine of u. So we know that this is actually going to be 1 half times negative cosine of u. One second, guys, like this. And then it's going to be from 0 to pi. Now we can take the negative 1 half out, so this negative can go outside. So we have negative 1 half times uh, cosine of u. And it's from 0 to pi. So again, the fundamental theorem of calculus tells us that we have to do, once we take the integral um, of this, we need to do f of b minus f of a. In this case, we know that a, this is a, and the, so a equals 0. And then b, we know that it's going to be pi. So b equals pi. So then we know that um, f of u is cosine of u. And so we know that if I do f of b minus f of a, since we already integrated it, um, this will actually be f of pi minus f of 0. So really, this is going to be the following. Well, actually, sorry guys, hold on. So then this is going to equal, so we know that f of pi, f of pi is really just cosine of pi, which is really um, negative 1. So we know we're going to put negative 1 right here. And for cosine of 0, when, x equal, when u equals 0, we know it's going to be... Um, it is going to be 1. So um, it's going to be minus 1. Now we cannot forget that we are multiplying this whole thing by negative 1 half. So we have to have a negative 1 half right here. So we know that this is f of 0. So then we have negative 1 half times negative 1 minus 1. And so this is going to be negative 1 half times negative 2. And if you think about it, the negatives will cancel out, and the 2 will cancel out. So we're just left with 1. So then we know that the integral from 0 to square root of pi of, um, what was it? Of, hold on guys, of x sine of x squared dx. is equal to 1. So that is our final answer, guys, and that is going to be it for this video. And uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and also please like, comment, and or subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.